Hi, Timothy Younger here. In this video, it's going to be a short one. Uh, a couple days ago, I did a video on um, the Chrome browser having some issues. I showed you how to install Edge. You'll see I have it right here. But what if we wanted to uh, just browse the web through Emacs? We could also do that with the built-in Emacs web browser. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to open up Emacs here. And I am going to toggle my menu bar. So I'm going to type in the command toggle menu bar mode from frame. <clears throat> okay, and I'm going to choose tools and go down to browse the web. And you'll see in the mini buffer here that we can enter the URL or keywords. So I'm going to enter in just some keywords that I want to search for. So naturally, uh, cats. So and you'll see it's going to duck, duck, go. And now I have evil mode installed, so I can just go use J and K to move up and down. And let's go down here to cat National Geographic. I'll hit enter and it's going to load up the site. Uh, and we've got some stuff here. I'm going to scroll down. It talks about the relationship with humans. Felis Catus uh, has had a very long relationship with humans including ancient Egyptians. Very interesting. Okay, so then we got this uh, respect for the copyright, blah, blah, blah. And then we can go down and, ooh, look at this. Earthworms are hunting insects in much of North America. Fascinating. Let's click on this. Um, earthworms are invasive and likely hurting insects. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so we can scroll down. Do I have any images here? Uh, uh, no, I don't really. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Oh. Inside the heroic effort to rescue, rescue Masha the bear from Ukraine. That's interesting. Um, oh, and we have a picture. Okay, so this is a bear that's in Ukraine. Uh, it looks like a brown bear. And they're trying to rescue it, I guess. So let's scroll down. And uh, let's see what else they got here. Um, ah, wild dolph dolphin observed talking with harbor porpoises. So you can really go down the rabbit hole here and, and uh, start looking for, you know, a bunch of different things. Now, in addition to just searching keywords, I could, if I didn't want to search through DuckDuckGo, I could go to my tools here, go to browse the web. And, you know, you see this long thing out here, but I could enter HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash Google.com. And then I could go and click here and search in Google. Um, you know, we could search for, let's say, Emacs. Uh, oh, I got to go to insert mode Emacs here. And let's search for Emacs. And we'll see uh, GNU.org. Let's go to that website within Emacs. Okay, so we see a picture of Emacs within Emacs. Awesome. Uh, anyways, so, you know, you can search the web inside of Emacs. So if you don't want to use Edge and you don't want to use Chrome and you don't want to use Firefox, maybe you just use Emacs. Uh, so I think you get the point. You can search uh, for anything inside of Emacs. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please give it a like as we'll help get out to more people. I also want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.